So we just got back from Dragon Con. Our do you see this guy? Our phone got stolen, and I found a praying mantis in our house. That's pretty cool, I think. I'm gonna put him in my plant until tomorrow. Can't tell if there's something wrong with his butt. He might be pregnant. Does he look pregnant? She? Yeah. It? Say hello. You're not internet famous, little bug. Okay. But yeah. Went to Dragon Con, got the phone stolen. Everything is okay. But I got mega inspired to start working on a costume for myself. I have never made and kept a costume for myself before. Sorry, I just ran over the tripod. Um, I've never made and kept a, a costume for myself before. Look at, I drew it in the car on the for like nine hours on the way back from Dragon Con. Can you see everything? Do you understand everything that's happening here? It makes way more sense to me, and I'll explain it to y'all piece by piece, but we're going to be going through. It's going to be a full, like, full body headdress. It's going to be my first experiment with doing an overbust corset. Um, it's going to have this, like, you can see on the back. Those are little swirly pauldrons. It makes a lot more sense in reality, like... Um, but it's going to be like a leather base with baubles on it. I hope I have enough baubles. Um, and scale mail and like rabbit pelts and all this like stuff. It's going to be awesome, you guys. But it's going to attach up here at the shoulders. And then I'm going to have little cloven goat hooves on my feet. Um, but first thing first, like this will make a lot more sense later on whenever the whole costume is complete. Like I wanted an overall concept, but I'm starting first and foremost with the bracer. Um, I did some additional planning while in the van, figuring up like just some little details. The bracer. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> Geek points. Is that praying mantis? Okay. I don't know. He's rubbing his butt on everything. I see you looking at me. Um, geek points to people who get the uh, Silence of the Lambs reference. Not Silence of the Lambs. Red Dragon. This is my cosplay. Do you see? <laughs> you don't think so? Well, if you get it, just just laugh, just laugh anyways. Um, but yeah, so this is the bracer. So this is me thinking of stuff. See, it says bracer. And I did a lot of experimentation. I wanted to share this creative process with you guys because uh, I'm never particularly professional seeming, but I do try to be at least on track kind of and well composed kind of in my tutorial videos but like this this is me being inspired and like excited so I knew that on the bracer I wanted to have fur do you see the fur on the edges and it's gonna be like a two-piece thing and I'm gonna try to have it attached with snaps this is gonna be the under layer or was let's see how it comes out and then it's gonna have these bobbles and but I knew that I had to start somewhere, so I started with the bauble color, um, which I just did some glass cabochons with um, nail polish, two different tones of nail polish. The color, the colors that I used were "Let's Get Digital" by Sally Hansen, Hansen, Hansen. And I backed that with Breezy Blue by also Sally Hansen, just in a different, it, this is Extreme Wear and this is Miracle Gel. But this one is a very glittery, translucent. It's not really picking up on the color shift. Um, yeah, sorry for the poor lighting. It's like 8.30 at night 
but I can't wait until tomorrow to get video of this. Like, I have to show you guys. I have to. Because I wanted to capture, like, the whole process. The whole process. Look at that. Do you, do you see? Oh, it's so pretty. So, it's all color shifty. Like, from over here, it looks like opalite, and then, boom. Glitter. Glitter flash. Um... And you can see I have all these different sizes. I've got 50 millimeter. We got 40 millimeter. We got 40 by 30 millimeter because I didn't know all what sizes I need exactly. Um, we've got 30 by 22. We've got 20. We've got 25. We've got 30. We've got, I don't know, like 18 by 22. That, that one's weird. Um, I don't know what its measurements are. But next size down of the oval stuff. And I painted them all. Um, I just did a real thick, goopy layer of the translucent opalescent. Oh, I'm sorry, praying mantis. I just rolled a stick over on him. I'm not very good at my friends. I'm so sorry, little feller. Um. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I did a real thick layer of the opalescent color shift and then I backed it with this translucent blue because it really the the color that all the glitter and everything was suspended in was so milky that it just it wasn't really making sense um but this way I mean this came out perfectly because I'm going to be pairing it and the accenting it with opalite beads if I can get it to not there we go so pretty though and we will get a chance to see these in actual daylight because um, this is going to take me a minute <laughs> to make. Um, and so the next step from there was deciding on what co like what colors um, I wanted the fur to be. And I'm using a conjunction of <sighs> rabbit pelts and as well as hand brushed fur which I'll be posting a tutorial on how to make that, um, but, boom, sample swatch. Um, I'll stop shaking it so you can actually see, but I was going through and trying a lot of, I hate it, I hate it, cut. absolutely, I'm not good at cutting fake fur, I really like it with a natural, um, hem, but I was trying a lot of different, this one's mostly cream, this one has a little bit more color going on, these have some dark browns, and I finally settled on this one, which is a really nice kind of purpley, there's some blue, there's a little bit of like gray and tan going on in there, and then just to get excited, I like try something completely different in case that looked better with it, I tried some like foxy oranges and stuff, but this is the one that I went with. And the colors that I'm using are lilac. I have to use my move my mad scientist secret notebook that I show literally anyone who will stand still long enough for me to show it to them. Yeah, like the checkout lady at Walmart, the dude and the other chick at Tandy Leather, the person at the gas station. Like, okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I was like frothing at the face excited. <laughs> The whole car ride back. Um, so yeah, lilac. This one is called Icelandic. Look at how pretty that is with those blues and those grays. I'm making a mess with the yarn. This this hot mess is Aran. A R A N. I call it cream though because it's like off white. And then this one. What? What? Randy was looking at me. It sent me into a rage. Mirage is this one. There's <laughs> the like on which you may never return. <laughs> he tries so hard to be quiet and well behaved while I'm on my videos and I make it hard on him. But yeah, this one's some really nice like sandy tans and a, a more of a sky blue as opposed to a Caribbean blue. And you're a caribou. You're a caribou. Sorry, be a professional, Randy. Yeah, never mind. Um, then with this and a bunch of like little segments of yarn, you'll see in the tutorial video as well as like that one's pretty in depth. But um, I started. I'm just gonna cut right to it. This is how far I've, as I've gotten so far. 
I brushed it all out. Oh shit, it's all. And um, I finally settled on a consistent way of attaching them. And this is just the under layer. I'm gonna show you the patterns that I made. But it's gonna wrap around and it's gonna secure with snaps on this underside. Look at that though. Oh, this is so like barbarian cool though. Like I could make and sell bracers just like this, I think. And it's like a little hand. I'm feeling particularly pleased with this color scheme. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But Okay, so this is what's happened so far. I'm going to show you the rest of the plans that I had made prior to doing that because um, I really wanted to work out what we were going to be doing. And then I just I want to show you everything. I can show you the world. I can jabber on endlessly. Do you see that? Now, I did a wrap. I wrapped myself in saran wrap and duct tape and I did it too tightly and it cut off a lot of my circulation it was very upsetting but then it came out like this which gave me the general shape to be able to draw this which I then like further designed I experimented with some colors and you can see down here that's how I'm gonna I'm gonna edge the whole thing in runes y'all and I measured out the bobbles but I didn't have them centered up here kitty but um and there's gonna be some beveling like I drew in the texture where the beveling's gonna be I can't see <laughs> and um and then from this I did something else which was make these the two separate pieces so this one is actually the template that I used to cut this out with and then this is going to be another piece that's going to get laid on top like so and like kind of covering up the top edge of the fur and keeping everything kind of like settled down but this is going to have the bobbles secured on it and they're going to be fractal wrapped with some wire which I'll show you guys that at some point um boop, boop, boop. so let's get started 